Got a dripping faucet? We'll show you how to fix several common types of single and double handle faucets. And if you're ready for an upgrade, we'll even show you how to install a new faucet. I am Andre. I'm a Lowe's Red Vest Associate in Ohio. Welcome to DIYU by Lowe's. When you need a repair, it can be hard to find a pro who can fit you into their schedule quickly. With the right knowledge though, you can fix many problems around your house yourself. This is why DIYU is here, to teach you skills to complete your home improvement projects. Plus, you get to ask us questions along the way. Type your questions in the live chat or the comments. We'll have experts answering your questions. And if you have any additional tips, share them in the chat with the group. Let's get started by fixing a leaky faucet. Some of the tools and materials you'll need for this project include screwdrivers, wrenches, and silicone grease. All of them can be found at your local Lowe's. For two-handle faucets, determine which side is leaking by turning off the shutoff valves one at a time. If the leak doesn't stop on the first valve, it's the other line that's leaking. For a single-handle faucet, a leaky spout means damaged parts inside the body. A leak at the base means damaged seals around the body. Turn off the shutoff valves. If they're stuck, turn off the main water valve. Turn on the faucet to release any residual water. Close the drain and place a towel in the sink to help protect it. Also, remove the aerator. If it's stuck, soak a towel in white vinegar and wrap it around the aerator for about an hour. After an hour, gently remove the aerator with a towel and pliers. Now, some finishes might not withstand white vinegar. Test in a hidden spot if possible. Another tip is to lightly warm the aerator with a hairdryer to help remove it. If you use a cleaning chemical, follow the instructions. Now, a frequently asked question is, do I have to remove the aerator to make a repair? Removing the aerator helps flush out any debris that may have come loose while making the repair. So remember, if you have any questions, type them in the live chat or the comments. As you're taking apart the faucet, lay the parts in order and snap a picture to help with reassembly. Put the parts in a plastic bag to take to the store. You can replace one specific part, but it's usually best to get a kit and replace all the parts. Also, buy a new aerator if yours is damaged. Now, keep in mind, these directions are typical, but check the manufacturer's instructions for your faucet. On ball valve faucets, loosen the set screw and take off the handle, then take off the cap. To repair a leaky spout, remove the cam, washer, and ball. Note how the holes in the ball line up with the faucet body. Use a small screwdriver to remove the seats and springs. To repair leaks at the base, slide off the spout, then replace the old rings. Add a little silicone grease and replace the spout. When working with plumbing parts that have a rubber gasket, coat the gasket with silicone grease before installing. Silicone grease is inexpensive and good to have on hand for repairs. Put new seats on new springs and put them back in place. But place the ball, making sure the holes are lined up. Then replace the washer and cam and reassemble the rest of the faucet. Now, our next type of repair is for cartridge faucets. The repairs will be similar for single and double-handed fixtures. For cartridge faucets, remove the cap and take out the screw and clip. Then take off the handle and trim ring. Unscrew the retainer and pull out the cartridge. Insert a new cartridge, then reassemble the faucet. If you replace your cartridge and now the hot and cold are reversed, the cartridge is most likely set backwards. Disassemble the faucet and turn the cartridge 180 degrees. To repair a ceramic disc faucet, loosen the set screw and take off the handle. Remove the retainer nut and pull out the cylinder. Rather than repairing the disc and seals, it's best to buy a new cylinder. Set it in and reassemble the faucet. With compression and reverse compression faucets, you'll need to replace the washer and O-ring or gasket on the valve stem and the valve seat in the faucet. First, take off the handle, then unscrew the valve stem. On the stem, remove the old gasket, screw, and seat washer. Apply some grease and add a new gasket, seat washer, and screw. Next, remove the valve seat with a seat wrench or hex wrench and insert a new one. Then put everything back together. For all faucets, after repairs, turn on the supply valves slowly 
and without the aerator, let the water run for a few minutes to flush out any debris. Clean a dirty aerator by soaking it in white vinegar. Rinse it and screw it back in. Here's a common question. The pressure in my kitchen wand sprayer is low. How do I fix it? Most likely there's debris in the hose or the aerator or screen is clogged. Disassemble the hose and tap the wand a few times. Also clean or replace the aerator. Another common problem is fixing a clogged drain. If you'd like to learn more about that topic, click here to explore that video. If you're ready to upgrade your faucet, that's a great DIY project too. Lowe's has many faucets to fit your style and budget. And the installation is similar for most household faucets. The tools needed for installing a faucet include a basin wrench, adjustable wrenches or pliers, and a small bucket to catch water. If you're replacing the faucet in your existing sink, look underneath to see how many holes it has before you get the new faucet. It can have from one to four. A three hole faucet won't work in a single hole sink, but you can use a single hole faucet in a three or four hole sink. You can just add a deck plate and sprayer or a soap dispenser. If you're also putting in a new sink, you can buy the sink and faucet to work together. Plus, installing the faucet before placing the new sink makes things a bit easier. Make a list of the things you'll need for the job. Things like supply lines, tools, plumber's putty, PVC primer, and cement. To begin the installation in the existing sink, turn off the water valves underneath. Then, turn on the faucet to relieve the pressure. Turn off the power to the garbage disposal and disconnect it. Always place a bucket underneath the valves to catch water before removing all the supply lines. For reference, snap a picture of the plumbing before disconnecting it. Have someone hold the faucet, and from under the sink, use a basin wrench to loosen the nuts. Then take off the nuts. At this point, you can take the faucet off the sink and clean away any grime or sealant. Now, Lowe's carries a lot of cleaners. Always read the bottle to make sure it can be used on your sink surface. Remember, if you have any questions, type them in the live chat or the comments. Keep in mind, not all faucets installed the same way, so be sure to read the instructions. Typically, here's what you do. First, assemble the faucet. Then place the trim ring or deck plate, if you have three holes like we do, into the sink. Feed the lines into the holes and position the faucet. Underneath, install the nuts and mounting bracket. For pull-down faucets, attach the weight and quick connect hose to the supply pipe. You'll need clearance underneath for the hose to hang down. Next, hook up the water supply lines. Don't over tighten them. Turn on the supply valves, check for leaks, and retighten if needed. Then remove the aerator and turn on the water slowly to flush the lines and faucet of debris. Let it run for a little bit and check everything again. Plug into the disposal and turn on the power. Replace the aerator. Fixing or replacing a dripping faucet will definitely ease your mind and help get your kitchen or bathroom back in order. Now, I've had a great time with everyone today. Remember, if you have any questions, type them in the comments. If you think of a question while doing your faucet project, let us know. Our experts will be answering your questions. If you're ever stuck on any projects, just stop by your local Lowe's and ask a Lowe's Red Vest associate for help. And let us know what types of projects you'd like to see on DIYU by Lowe's. We'll see you next time.